Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. I have another KA box here, which I am going to demonstrate to you guys the thermal differences between both of these. One, which is running stock. Well, actually they're both running stock. The difference is this one here, I have a 120 mil fan on it to extract more heat from the KA box. So right now, this thing is running at about 58 to 60 degrees Celsius. This one, according to the web GUI, is running about 82 degrees Celsius or about 180 Fahrenheit, which is incredibly hot. And we're gonna see how hot the back is here. Okay, so let me get a reading of just the back plate there. It looks like that is the hottest part. It's about 78 uh, degrees Celsius, right in the center there. It was about 80 a bit, I guess, a little bit further up. But look at that. That is extremely hot on this KA box, okay, that has no fan right now. And yes, it provides a lot of heat. This would be great during winter time, but I'm afraid, and I've had reports of other people's gold shells over the years that have died. As you all know, heat degrades the circuitry. This is why I am worried about these KA boxes. I'll show you guys the differences in the computer. Let's go. Okay, so. We are connected to the web GUI of both of the KA boxes, just to show you guys here. They have been running for almost 22 hours right now, almost hitting up 23 hours. But you can see here, okay, the temperature on the one with no external fan, 120 mil fan, is 81.9 degrees Celsius right now, with a hardware error of 6.24%. Average hash rate here shows 1143 uh, gigahash here, or 1.143 terahash. Now, we'll go to the one with the fan. It shows 59 degrees Celsius. So just by adding a 120 mil Noctua industrial PPC fan, 3000 RPM, about 110 CFM on the rear, we have lowered the temperatures from 82 to 59.4. We have a hardware error of 1.85% and average here is showing about almost 1.2 terahash, okay? So pretty crazy. Another big difference here I wanna show you guys because we've had these higher hardware errors, you can see, looking at the hash rate here, okay, let me switch it up here. You guys will see how much higher the average hash rate I have on the cooler 120 mil fan KA box versus the non-cooled KA box. You can see the difference here, okay? Look, uh, look, when I switch it, Right, lower hash rate on the hotter one, higher hash rate average overall on the cooled one. And another positive thing is that I've dropped about 30 watts on the cooled one because there's gonna be less heat, right, and less resistance that is gonna be put on the chip. So it's gonna be drawing less power on that KA box, which is great, okay? So we've lowered about 30, 25 to 30 watts on this 120 mil cooled one here. Okay, the fan takes about, what, five to eight watts, but we're still saving power against the other one that's running stock here and getting lower hash rate and more hardware errors. Actually, I can show you here. Uh, also, the fan, see, the target temp on the stock one, I think is about 82 degrees Celsius. But now that we've dropped it down, so here's the other one, it says about, we're running at a temperature of 58. Okay, so the fan, the fans, the internal fans, which are two fans inside, are running a lot lower RPM right now. Okay, so they're running at about 1200 RPM, 1140 RPM, there's two fans. And then the stock one without the external 120 mil fan is at 2500 RPM, or max, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if, if this is max speed, but we are unable to change the fan speed in the minor pages. There's, there's nowhere to do that. There's nowhere to change the target temperature. So I did talk to Goldshell uh, James. He did notify the developers to see if they could do that. 
So we're gonna see if that comes out eventually, but I also wanted to show you guys here, okay, the differences between the hardware uh, chip air. So I'm in the debug mode on this gold shell, okay, the debug mode in the web GUI, you just go slash debug, and uh, brings you brings up a bunch of more metrics here. But looking at the hardware errors for the one with no external fan, you can see it's it's pretty nuts. We got a lot of hardware. This one has 1,600 hardware errors over the past 22 hours, okay. And then as well, uh, this is the one with uh, the external fan, okay. So this one has showing a lot less, and so that's. In my opinion, it is translating to actually less hash rate on the pool. Okay, so the past 24 hours, the KBox01, this is the one with the external fan. This one has an average of uh, 946 gig hash. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, but I wanted to record this because there is a dr drastic difference. Past three hours, we're at 1.2 terahash. The KBox02 is the one with stock, no external fan. It's at 1.09 terahash average over the past three hours. And I showed you guys the difference here. Right? Look at this. Look at the difference here in terms of the just in the hash rate chart on the web GUI itself. A drastic difference, okay? The harder one, lower hash rate overall. The one that's cooled down, less resistance, lower wattage, about 25 watts. We're seeing higher hash rate overall and also on the mining pool as well. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this difference here. Okay, so that's what I wanted to really get at in showing you guys the differences here, whether or not you believe. Uh, this is a, you know, the thing that you should care about. I think so, because, you know, I know a lot of people that have these that have had broken gold shell boxes. And over time, like I said in the beginning, heat is a destroyer as, uh, you know, chips can expand and overall break the whatever the GPU die, whatever the die is uh, on these KA boxes, you know, potentially in previous history, as we all know, Heat is not a great thing for circuitry, especially for computer equipment, okay? So take that as you will. This is just a disclaimer for everyone. Just adding a fan on the back seemed to do quite well, as you guys can see here, and it shows in the hash rate as well over time. All right, now I wanna talk about the price of these KA boxes, okay? But thank you to apextomining.com for sending me this other KA box here to show you guys the differences. Thank you for them. I'm able to do this test here. Thank you to them. Link down below if you guys are interested in any of their ASIC miners. But looking on their website right now, uh, the KA box here is about 2350. So the price has definitely gone up on this batch. I know it was about, I think, 18 or 1900 on a lot of resellers' websites about, you know, a week or two ago, but they already sold out, right? Goldshell also listed this at, what, 1699 or 1700 So it's, yeah, this is now a lot more expensive. A lot of people are now boosting up the price because the demand for this thing is a lot more. But looking at the efficiency, okay, of the KA box here, it's pretty good. Right, it's pretty good against like the Ice River. Uh, sorry, anything below the KA box here, you guys can see in, a, in terms of efficiency, which, which gets about 0.3 uh, watt per hash or joules per uh, giga hash here. It's doing really well, especially if you put an external fan on it and cool it down. Stay tuned. I have the meterbox.com is building me like a shroud, uh, either for the front or the back. I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. But you can see as we go down the list here, the efficiency gets worse and worse on these Bitmain KS3, Ice River KS3s, uh, the Notorious KS0 Pro, as a lot of people have and like. Uh, these get a 0.5 in efficiency. So the Gold Shell KA box, if you can keep it cool, can do about 1.2 terahash at 375 watts and it gets about a 0.3 uh, watt per hash, which is pretty good. But the king of Casper mining right now is the Bitmain's uh, KS5 Pro and KS5, which gets a 0.15 okay hash per watt which is double the efficiency against a ka box so take that as you will right that's a big risk and who knows if there's going to be more of these uh, coming out also the network hash rate is going to climb considerably depending on how many bitmain is going to create so this ka box right now i think makes about what six to seven dollars a day so understand that risk right this is all dependent on the casper price um, also if you believe in caspa long term then you know maybe this gold shell ka box is going to be good for you to run at home you know just to heat your house as well a little bit i mean it's not much but it, it could be something here but also looking at the dollar per giga hash 
okay? Right now, with the KA box price going up, okay, which is 23.50 now, I just saw on Apexto, okay, 23.50, it's now, it's getting worse, okay, in terms of the dollar per gigahash. The higher number here, the worse it is to essentially get your money back, uh, essentially. It is kind of on par with the KS0 Pro, but you know, if you were to maybe go for, I think the best in terms of dollar per gigahash right now is going to be the KS5L. Uh, Ice River just announced this. I'm not saying anyone should go buy this. Do it at your own risk. <laughs> if you believe in Caspa in the long term, sure, go for it. And considering actually the biggest risk is going to be the emission schedule, which is quite aggressive and goes down about 5.6% every month. So take that into consideration. So what do you guys think? Okay, of what I just talked about regarding the temperature differences, I guess also the price of these things which have gone up. Oh yeah, so let's talk about the meter box. Okay, so the meter box has created these shrouds uh, for the Gold Shell KS0 Pros. Now the meter box hit me up regarding these because I was having heat issues as we just talked about. So he's gonna figure out a shroud that you can either put in the front uh, or the back. I'm thinking actually now the back because I did try having a fan in the front and also in the back and uh, it didn't really make much difference having the fan in the front. The biggest difference was in the back because there's a lot of restriction, airflow restriction here uh, with this front plate and obviously the two fans that are already there. So putting a 120 mil fan in the front here didn't, yeah, didn't make much difference. Maybe three degrees difference. But since we have added the 120 mil Noctua, 3K RPM, 110 CFM in the back, it's, it's much better right 60 59 58 degrees celsius you guys saw in the web GUI so a simple shroud maybe on the back might do better might do it justice in terms of just keeping it cooler and long term last longer in my opinion like i said heat is going to be the destroyer for computer equipment same thing goes with these types of little gold miners which i've had numerous people tell me that they've had failures on their gold shell like mini doges so whether or not they're running uh, you know, above 70, 80 degrees Celsius, that's a red flag to me. And hopefully people will take that to heart because I don't want anyone to have broken, especially these dead KA boxes running around and, you know, thinking that, oh, running 82 degrees Celsius is fine. In my opinion, it's not. And if you want to run it at those temperatures, go for it. And if you want them to die and lose money, go for it. But I'm not going to take that risk. If you're willing to take that risk, let these run at 82 degrees Celsius and have them die in like six months or less than a year. Go for it. It's all on you. It's all on you. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you all. And if you watch to the very end, comment down below your opinion regarding the KA box, positive or negative. Comment down below. I will choose a winner for 24 hour hash rate of this KA box. Get those comments down below. Choose the winner after 24 hours. Good luck, everyone. Thank you again to apexdomining.com for sending me this KA box. Link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing any hardware from them. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out, peace out.